Welcome to the Con Crunch Challenge, where we ask cosplayers to work under a tight time frame to get their cosplays ready. You'll see all their tips and tricks to getting it done and still making it awesome. This is kind of gruesome to watch. I'm Cheryl Sloboda, and in this episode, we meet Casey. Hi, I'm Casey Renee. I live in Atlanta, but I'm originally from Arizona. Who has only two hours to make her Ice Queen cosplay sparkle. So I started cosplaying probably like six, seven years ago. My absolute favorite is Saki Zhao Amethyst, which is the, the costume that took me like nine months to make. And it has like 45,000 beads and rhinestones on it. But right now, one of my favorite things is my Morticia Adams. I just love it. Like I just love big Morticia and I love like it's sparkly and it's got so many different textures. So for the challenge today, I basically spent two days making a full dress and like a couple pieces to go with it. The character is like an ice queen inspired by Cersei Lannister. The goal today is to take this basic dress that's just a couple colors and embellish it and make it a little bit more ornate and make it feel like she's a queen, not just like, oh, a girl in a pretty dress. Okay, Casey, welcome to the set of Con Crunch Challenge. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited that you're here. This is gorgeous. I can't wait to see what you work on here on the challenge, but I'm gonna lay out the ground rules for you. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. Okay, so you have two hours to complete everything that you need to do in your con crunch. Okay. And then you'll have two opportunities to call for help. But I think we're ready to go shopping. Are you? I'm so ready to shop. All right, let's do it. Okay, Casey, we are here at Blakeman Vacuum and Sewing in Loveland, Colorado. This entire store is at your disposal to pick the things that you need for your project. We're gonna give you about five minutes to run around, grab what you need. So I think we should get started, I don't know, how about right now? <laughs> okay, so I want to put applique pieces onto the dress and I'm doing it on two opposite sides and so it's gonna be difficult creating perfect symmetry. It's not gonna be perfect, so I have to kind of take into consideration that like if I was spending a week on this, they would be perfect, everything would lined up amazing, but that's not a realistic expectation. So it's more about can I create just a really pretty item on the dress that's going to be out of embellished pieces and can I make it look good and as symmetrical as I can get? We got it. <laughs> All right, Casey, we are back from shopping. You have your fabulous supplies. You know, I earlier told you about how we had two opportunities for you to call in for help. We have Cassidy, also known as Cassiopeia. She is an excellent cosplayer and seamstress in her own right. So you are now able to call for help from both of us. I think we are ready. Are yeah, you yeah, ready? ready? Are you ready? Uh, Woo, yeah, I'm ready. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, we are going to set the clock. Two hours starts now. Go. Good luck. <laughs> All right, thank you. The first thing I need to do is cut this out. I like that she's using the tools as pattern weights or fabric weights because... Because that's what I do too. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I either do that or my cat sits there and helps me. Yeah. Oh yeah. She's like, I will be your pattern weight today. And I'm like, thank you. All right, let's see this tool. I have yet to use this tool, so... So I'm gonna be using the heat craft tool from RNK. And basically the goal is to cut uh, maybe like eight of these out so that I can create a design on our fabric here. Does this have instructions? You should probably always read the instructions first. <laughs> no! So this has an applique edge, and I think that's what we're gonna use because our goal with the heat is to cut this fabric, but also because it's hot, it's gonna burn this tool so that you don't have to use fray check, but you also don't have to worry about it fraying everywhere. Mm. Never use one of these heat tools. Oh, yeah. It's done the hard way, like fussy cutting it with little shears. That's how um, I, shears. yeah, I've done that before. Oh, there's the instructions. Whoopsies. <laughs> okay, I don't think it's warm enough yet. It probably takes like, what, two minutes? You can smell it, burning things. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you should probably work in a well-ventilated area. Yeah, like this is <laughs> cute. All right, we're gonna try something else real quick. At least get some of this cut out first. See, that's what I'm used to doing. It's yeah, like this is Cut out large mm -hmm. piece and then go around the edge. You have to be careful because you don't want to accidentally cut into your As motif. I just cut into it. No! no. Oh. It's okay, it's okay. Oh. We'll Jeez. make it work. Oh man, yeah. if I had more than two hours, we would be using that trim. <laughs> there we go. Got the. It just needed to heat up a little bit more. I think we should get a closer look at this. Yeah. Thing. But this is actually just gonna help it like so that you don't see the netting when I go to sew it on. 
We're smoking over here. <laughs> we need like a fan. Yeah. <laughs> so we got one. We went from this to that. Yeah. But that only took maybe five or six minutes. It's like cutting through butter. It mm -hmm. is actually very strangely satisfying. Yes, yeah, I would agree with that. Great. And three. So we're sticking with eight. <laughs> so Casey, this is your original design based on Cersei Lannister. Did you do sketches or anything ahead of time? Before? I did. I, 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 I sketched out a little bit with like color blocking and the silhouette. I make Cersei Lannister dresses, like I've made several of them. So I already had the pattern. I just kind of wanted to give it a little bit more like high fashion feel essentially. Mm -hmm. So like she has a headpiece and like this weird, I call it a neck corset, but I know there's a real word for it. Neck corset works. It's, yeah. yeah. Neck, yeah. 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 Looks like an old timey cigarette the way Doesn't it's. It? <laughs> <laughs> mm, yeah, we'll go like that and then we'll put one here. Oh my on time. Okay, if I can finish. <laughs> I'm like, my goal was to get these cut out in 30 minutes and I think I'm doing it. All right, cutting is done. The what? first thing I'm gonna do with any kind of hot thing is unplug it when I'm done with it. And I should do stabilizer first. I'm done with this, I'm sorry. I can use more of you if there's time. I'll let you, here you go, here you go. Okay, so this is tearaway, so I believe I can just fuse it on. Opening the package is the hardest part. I know, half of the time it really is. So is this an iron-on? Yeah, so I'm, this is gonna be iron-on and then tear away. And really the okay. point of the stabilizer is just so that when I'm going to free motion quilt it, there's some sort of support. This is the Quilter Select tear away. Uh, you can use water soluble, we're not gonna do that today because I did not pre-wash my fabric. <laughs> I know, I know. I need to set up the iron and the iron and board. So this is the dress that I made and we are putting this on the inside. Uh, embellishments most of the time should be done before you sew everything up. It's just gonna make your life way easier. But this isn't supposed to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can use a ton of things to interline. You, I could have even lined this, but knowing that I would be here trying to pull off a miracle. I am. Uh, I was like, we're not gonna, we're not gonna line it. There's no time to add a lining to a dress. We're just gonna interline everything. Right. Place the shiny side of the stabilizer to the wrong side of the fabric for the purpose of time and making it a little easier on myself. We're gonna place it slightly lower down. I'm gonna see and make sure this all will fit on the on the blue. Yeah. Just under an hour and a half to go. It's not enough time. It's not. <laughs> oh, pressing cloth or a piece of cotton. Okay, so I'm gonna grab cotton from here. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of yellow, so we'll use yellow. <laughs> All right, so set for wool for now, and then it's a nice little medium place to be at anyway. While we're waiting for this to heat up, I'm gonna need help. Can I have some help putting on the free motion quilt tool? Do you want to do this? All right. Please so, help me. Oh, <laughs> no worries. We need to remove this foot. We are going to have to do that to get this underneath here. Come on, little guy. Okay, so do you know where the feed dogs are? Um, I know where they are. I don't know where this, like how to bring these ones down. Oh, okay. Oh, so this one, they're hidden way back way here. Back, which All this right. is just like the one I have at home. I've just never used a free motion quilt for yep. it, you know? Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, you saved welcome. my soul. <laughs> one hour, 20 minutes. Okay, wow. I realized there after is. adding stabilizer, yes. this might be slightly tricky to pull this up. Uh-huh. Stay. Please, yeah. please give me like two extra arms or something. Yeah, all right. Again, we could just hot glue them on, guys. Oh. Why don't you go ahead? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're just literally holding this on here for like three to five seconds. We gotta activate that glue. If it's not perfect, it's all right, because we are running out of time. You have an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. <laughs> It's like baking, right? Like that's what I kind of feel like I'm doing right now. It's like I'm like checking the cookies to make sure. I did not think about how much time it would take to do this. Yeah. We'll give it a little bit more heat and then I think I'm just gonna try it. If it shifts a little, we'll see what happens. Sometimes you just gotta make it work. Shift happens. Oh, I love 
love that. <laughs> it's good enough. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna start by just like getting them placed down how I would like them to look. And then I'm gonna pin it and flip it and try to get it to look the way I had it before. Am I allowed to have my phone to take a photo? Don't see why not. <laughs> there we go. All right, I think I just thought of a way I could have done all of this faster, but we'll talk about that later because now I'm just like, oh. Speaking of time, there's only an hour and 10 minutes left. Okay, like we say, opening packages. Okay, sewing standing up. Here's my first attempt. So now I gotta add a new needle that will work with my fabric. This is the part where it takes me 15 minutes to thread. <laughs> there we go. I'm gonna take a test piece. I know it's not my fabric, but <laughs> I gotta test it somehow, make sure that the tension's okay. I would love that stool. Is there a stool I can use? Thank you, this just might be a little bit easier for me. The thing about free motion is that there are no feed dogs to push the fabric through. So that's what you were pulling down earlier with the feed dog. Right, when you do free motion, you have to move the fabric. Interesting. And it's still way loose. Man, is there another thing I'm supposed to, another setting I'm supposed to do to, for free motion? Free quilting, you don't have to put the foot down or anything. No, you do. Do you? Is the foot down? <laughs> <laughs> so that, that looks good. That? <laughs> it's just now I've messed up the tension. It doesn't matter how long you've been, you've been sewing, sewing or how your good foot down. you so for me, the cosplay community is a lot of just nerdy people who want to try new techniques and um, we share a lot of what we do. Like some of the people I follow, I follow them because they actually talk about technique and things that they failed at and things that they were successful at. Because as a, as a consumer of content, I want to learn more. Like I'm always like, what's the next technique I can do? What's the next big fad in like sewing or this or that? And so for me, I like the community um, because of how willing everyone is to share the process. I feel like I have more internet friends than I do like real life friends, <laughs> which is kind of sad, but it's true. Like I talk to so many people on the internet because of cosplay like than I do in real life. So I'm gonna just drop this guy in. The foot is down. Oh, yeah. 58 wow. minutes, all right. Guys, we can do this. We got this. Yeah. Are you just going around? I'm, gonna go I'm just going yeah. around the edge, yeah. Oh, I was pins? gonna say, I always move my pins. Like, the... Some people sew over them. Like, I know, oh, it drives me insane. Oh I'm like, gosh. no. Oh wait, I think I broke my thread. That's okay, that happens. Please don't, like, break. done with this guy. Oh no, we have him, damn it. Sorry, oh yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, darn. Cursing while sewing. Dang. What are we, what are we gonna name this, this sewing machine today? What is her name? Ooh. Okay, we're gonna call her Theodosia because that, that. Theodosia? Yeah, you know the, the Hamilton song? Yeah. This is down right, yeah, okay. Almost done, last pin. Although I did just break the thread again. Yeah. Let's be honest, this probably doesn't look great on the inside. Oh, I think I bent my needle. That's why we got a five pack or however many pack. Now, if I really want to, I can just start ripping this away. This is the my favorite part. Ah! <laughs> We're gonna pull up our image and try to repeat it on the opposite side. Okay, so if our seam is here. Well, and you want it to look even on both sides, you know. Right. It's gotta, you know, there's a method here. You don't want it to be lopsided or <laughs> mine's probably gonna be. We're gonna we're gonna forgive that if it happens. <laughs> okay. It's not perfect, but we're gonna do it. I'm gonna commit to it. I'm doing it. <clears throat> oh, I just realized something. This one's backwards. Oh there we go. <laughs> I would probably put about twice as many pins in this so that it doesn't shift, but for time's sake, we're just gonna we're gonna roll with the punches. <laughs> Let's make sure this guy's up while I feed the dress through. Remove that. Guys, I only have like, you know, 50 some odd minutes. Mm -hmm. we well, we're just like, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> no, okay, let's do this. It's, <laughs> it's on, let's go. Okay. Really going for 
Yeah, yeah. it's like that machine's going. <laughs> the big concern too right now is not getting anything else under this needle. You don't want to get the rest of the dress pieces under it. Awesome. All right, we're going to take the stabilizer out and then the dress is mostly done. If I have enough time, I'll add rhinestones to it, but I really want to get stones on the headpiece. That is the best part. I know, it just feels so good. So satisfying. Here we are. We have this. We're going to move this and this. Those are going to get stone. Huzzah! Okay, rhinestone time. <laughs> this is my favorite part. <laughs> So I'm gonna go back to that cotton and just cut a piece off of it to put my stones on. Don't forget you still have one help left too. Oh, struggling. you're right. So you just literally, oh God, it heats up so fast. Okay, I'm gonna just test out a design real quick before I actually put it on my thing. Um, because once it goes on, it's not coming off. I also need to figure out like how how much heat I have to apply. How do I pick it up? How do I do this? Oh, you place it on the design first. Oh, that's even easier, okay. Sometimes placing the stones is like the hardest part because you don't want to move them. <laughs> right. So, here. This is such fiddly It work. really, work. really mm -hmm. is. So what you're doing is you're gonna place them in the design you want and then mm -hmm. hot fix them. And then hot fix them, yep. Okay, so I'm pressing down. So you can almost see the glue too, like you mm -hmm. know when it's like sunken into the fabric. You're yeah, like, oh. you'll start seeing it kind of. <laughs> it's very satisfying also. Oops, he's accidentally just burnt. So tell us about this headpiece. So basically I took my dress form and I wrapped it, or my head form, my, my wig stand, and I wrapped it with the wig on it in cellophane. Basically like created a pattern out of cellophane and tape. Oh shoot, I keep burning my fabric. We're gonna have to figure out how to hide that. So it's basically the base. It is um, the structure foam, super structure foam, and then it's covered in this really cheap satin and it's sewn like two sides. They're both sewn, but then I quilted inside of it and added mm. some beads to it. Can I, can I call for help? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Could you just place this design yes. here and there and then I'll glue it. On like, these two sides? Mm -hmm. Is that the neck corset? Yes, the neck corset. <laughs> Got it. it. And we're just gonna actually try to make a design here. 30 minutes left. Oh geez, oh geez. 30 minutes. All right, there's that. Oh man, you're making my life so easy. Okay, those are Ooh, ready Oh, so for sorry. You. Those are ready? Let's yes. do this. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, I just burned it, it's fine. No one's gonna care. Right? You guys aren't gonna. No one's gonna judge me if there's a little bit black on this. I might have made myself a little bit more work than I needed. Oopsies. I just feel like you could do this all day. Oh, I could do this all day. Like I have done this all day. This is what wine stoning is for. What? Wine stoning. All right, we're gonna put just a few at this front here, and then we're gonna move on to the neck piece. Fifteen. Oh, minutes. oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> I can put four more on this and then I can move on to four the neck more. piece. <gasps> four more. My I hands are shaking. Thing. Like that is the thing and they're getting a little sweaty. But I think I can oh. hold off for 15 minutes. All right, I think, okay. No! Oh, it okay. fell off. It's okay, it's okay, come back. All right, it's on, they're on, those are done. Okay, that's done. We're just gonna call it done. I mean, I could just, I could do that all day. We're gonna call it done. And I wanna just put a few more on the front. We're gonna lay this flat because it velcros. Oh, oh it's velcro! Oh. What? How did we not see that before? <laughs> hey, you don't wanna go there. You don't wanna fall off. I like how she talks to them. I she know I'm talking to them. Very encouraging. Yeah, that's I would be the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw you away. Do you think you're gonna get any on the dress? No. Mm? It's not happening. <laughs> I would also, like I want this to have a nice cascade. I want to use some of these smaller ones, so. We're under 10 minutes, I can't even, I'm not even gonna look back, <laughs> I'm just gonna. I think the dress also has glitter in it, so I think it'll have enough sparkle. <sighs> oh, 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 I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Oh my it's gosh, happening. she's going in. All right. Oh, with only five minutes to go. The hardest part is not burning the fabric. Also remembering that the stone is still hot while you're uh, moving on to the next stone. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we got two. Let's see if we can get all the way to the shoulder. You're down to three minutes. Ooh, three three minutes. minutes. Oh my god. One right here. All right. I think this is the last one. Okay. Is that it? We're done? Yes, I'm done. 24 seconds. 24 seconds, okay. To spare. To spare. Congratulations. Oh my gosh. We did a fabulous <sighs> job. <sighs> we started with cutting out all of the different appliques. Yep. And then adding the tearaway. Struggling through the tearaway. Struggling through the tearaway. <laughs> But you sewing, doing the free motion. Yeah, you yeah. learned all, all that free motion mm -hmm. on this machine, which yeah. is great. Casey Renee, you survived the Con Crunch challenge. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming on. And as part of uh, surviving and actually meeting the challenge, you win a prize pack from RK Distributing and So Much Cosplay and a $300 gift card from Singer. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations and thank you so Yay. much for being part of the show. Thank you, oh, thank you guys for having me. Yes. <laughs> this is awesome.